Okay, today's worksheet is called Vertex to Standard. Do you get that this is in vertex form? And if so, there must be a vertex in it somewhere. Just to make sure you get what a vertex is, it's a parabola like this. When you graph it, it's this lowest spot. Does that ring a bell? That lowest spot on a parabola, or the highest spot on a parabola, it's called the vertex. Kind of depends on whether it's a like a normal parabola or if it's a upside down parabola. All right, so that spot, the vertex, is not 3, negative 1. It's so close. Yes, I get that there is a squared here, but we don't have to actually multiply it out. Now, here's a thing that you're going to, I, I know that this isn't going to make total sense to you right this second, but down the road, when you hit the higher level math classes, here's something I need you to remember. The stuff on the inside in an equation like this, the stuff on the inside always does the opposite of what you would think. It's like you can't trust the stuff on the inside. All right? Uh, so that says plus 3, then the vertex is actually negative 3. The other number you can trust because it's on the outside. Let me tell you a story about inside and outside and trust. I'm going to pause for a second while I do that. Okay, so this vertex form told me that negative 3, negative 1 would be the vertex. Can you, and that means this point right here, over 3, down 1, that's the vertex. Can you tell from this equation, did you learn enough from what I just said to tell me what vertex this one is? 5, 5. How come this isn't negative? Because you don't trust it. You don't trust the one that's on the inside. All right? So the vertex on that guy is just 5, 5. Yes, except for one more thing. i got to tell you what the vertex is, and that, that's easy. Now I think you got it, right? I mean, let's say I said this. Uh, x plus 7 squared minus 1. Is the vertex 7 negative 1? Negative 7. Negative 1. Negative 7. Negative 1. Awesome. Okay, then there's the only one more thing. One more thing you have to know how to do, and that is to multiply this out. Isn't it true that just yesterday on your homework you had problems like that? And you know how to multiply that out, right? The only thing that's different is that it has a minus 1 at the end. So you do this part. Which, by the way, in case you forgot, you do not go x squared and 7 squared. You go x plus 7 and x plus 7. And when you're done with it, my 7s look kind of funny. Hold on. When you're done with it, you subtract 1. So you finish this whole thing up, and do you get that there will be a 49 in my answer? But then I subtract 1, and now I got a what? A 48. Okay, so it's identical to the last night's homework where you'd have one like this, and you'd square it out, you'd foil it out, or multiply all the parts, however you like to do it. But then you've got to throw in that number and subtract 1. So on this one, I would do all of this, and at the end I would what? Plus 5. Plus 5, that's it. So you go x plus 2, x plus 2, and I think you guys get this part. You do all four parts, blah, 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 and then you plus 5. Wait, so, you have to solve so first let's do this. It goes x squared. I do the outside-inside thing because that's the way I like to do it. Outside and inside, 2x, 2x makes 4x, and the last is 2 times 2 is 4. But then add 5. Oh, okay. Then you mean like add 4x squared. Yes, it is. It's the same as last night, except you add a number. That's pretty much it. All right, good. So here's your homework. I'm going to pause a second while I hand it out. All right, look at number one. It says x minus 2 squared. I, I already did, but I'll say it again. Here's the ones you can skip. You may skip number 6. You may skip number 13. And you may skip number 9. 6 and 9 and 13. One of the reasons that 9 is considered not uh, a good number is that it's considered 10 is such a good number, it's our, whole, our whole number system is based on it, that if you're just one short of something, it's kind of like you're incomplete. 
And so 9 is considered not as good of a number as 10, because 10 would be a nice, perfect set that would be a set of 10, and we go by 10s. And, okay. Anyway, let's do number 1 together in its set. Oh, I know this. X minus 2, X minus 2, and then plus 3. Do that. Write that down. This is number 1. Very first one. Excellent. Did you get X squared minus 4X plus... Wait, wait, wait. These two make plus 4 and then plus 3. Oh, you're too fast. That's right. X squared minus 4X plus 7. And by the way, just so you get what you got there, what you have is called standard form of the equation. If it's like this, that's called what form again? Just the V. Vertex form. This one, the answers are in standard form. Okay. All right. Yeah, the answer there that I circled, that's standard form. The, part, the kind that has the A, the B, and the C, that's called standard form. All right, it's time to work on that worksheet. If you need help, please come on up and ask.